Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. Today, we are coming back at the channel with a very requested makeup look. Kind of just a chit chat, get ready with me, kind of update you guys on everything that's been going on in my life. Lots and lots and lots and lots has changed since I feel like I've talked to you guys last. Um, so I'm kind of updating you guys on all of that and just going along through this makeup look. I showed you guys this makeup look on my Instagram probably a few weeks ago or like month or so ago now. It's been a while and I told you guys that it was coming. So here it finally is. It's very delayed. I tried to recreate it. To be honest, I don't completely remember what I used, but we tried to make it work. If you guys are new here, welcome to the lovely little fam. Be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into this. Okay, it's been a while. We're gonna test to make sure this mic works because if I film the whole video again and the sound doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. Okay. She good, she working, what's Gucci? All right, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm finally doing the makeup look that I told you guys that I was going to film um, who knows how many months ago now. And I don't even really remember what I used if I'm being 110% honest with you. So, we don't love. I'm trying to remember, and I, maybe, I don't, mm, unsure. We're gonna do a little swoop -da doop I feel like I, mm, maybe I use this. I think, okay. We got my beautiful baby, my new Jaclyn Hill palette. Shout out Hannah, I love you so much. Okay, we're gonna pull back the hair. Apologize profusely for the appearance and move along. So I will put on the screen here the makeup look that we are trying to recreate. I'm gonna use a few different like face products and stuff like that and maybe I'm using an entirely different eyeshadow palette but I think this is what I used. I should have done it a long time ago. I was like, I won't forget. Honey forgot. Also, I don't have any of my rings on and I don't know who she is, so hold on. Oh my gosh, or the earrings. We, we can't do that again, we cannot. My hands don't look this bad in person. I promise. This camera just amplifies the saturation on everything. Oh Lord. Every video, I have to look like an Oompa Loompa. That's just the reality of it. 25 years later, now that I'm actually ready to film my video, we are going to be starting with the face. Also, in case you were wondering, I still haven't washed my makeup brushes since the last time that I told you that I needed to. And I was supposed to be filming that video today. And I was like, but then I won't be able to do my makeup. So we're doing it in reverse. Also, if you guys um, want to see this look on a different platform, I'm filming this for a TikTok that I'm doing with some of my subscriber BFFs. And um, so I'm really excited for it. So I figured I would sit down and film the process of the makeup look we're doing, like the drop the brush challenge thing, you know? And then you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm filming that look for this. And let's do it. I also need new lashes really bad because mine are looking disgusting. So, okay. I think what we're going to do, I know this is like a sleeping mask, but I think I'm gonna use it for moisturizer today. So I have this. It's been a while, it's been a while. This Laneige sleeping mask that I just stuck up my nose. Um, and we're just gonna take this little spatula and we're just gonna throw her all over the place and then stick it back in there because that's sanitary. And then we rub. I also um, just wanted to like kind of get you guys up to date on like what's going on and like fill you in. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm gonna be a little bit of a mess for you today and give you a little sneak peek into what to expect if you Hit that subscribe button, okay? Next, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And again, ignore the orangeness that are my hands. 
and I am just going to apply this puppy everywhere. I need a new one really bad, but I haven't left the house, so I need to place an order. Um, I ordered some stuff to do my nails at home, like acrylic stuff. So like, let me know if you guys want to see a video of that. I'm sure it will be a fail. I don't think it will be helpful in any way, shape, or form, but if you want it, you know, you got it, dude. So, on to the little update. Taking this hourglass, like the stick foundation. Um, it is a dark color for when I fake tan, and my body tan is wearing off, and I also, no, maybe I don't look paler in the camera. Maybe it is actually just all gone, and only my neck is tan. So, um, this is in the color Warm Beige, and she looks a little bit um, like, Amanda, that's really dark when you put it on. And I mean, that is because it is. However, it matches my tan when it's fresh. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, just kidding. Okay, and now I'm actually gonna leave for like a second, which you won't even know because I'll, I will cut her out, but I'm gonna go and wet my beauty blender because I feel like you need a little bit of a dampness to blend her out. Okay, I'll be back. We are just not gonna address how dark and how different of a shade this is on my face. We already did, but we're not doing it again, okay? Also, I picked up my face and so now that's there, so. Love that for me. I also was just looking for my mirror, but then I remembered I shattered it on my ground and it's still broken over here from yesterday, so. That's how quarantine's going. I need a mirror. Does anyone have a mirror for me? You don't have a mirror. Do you have a mirror? No, you don't. Oh wait, I think this one does. Let me just shake y'all around a little bit. Voila. Um, okay, so um, I was discussing something, but my train of thought lasts about uh, 34 seconds, if that, and then she's gone for good. So, so um, to update you guys a little bit, um, I will be here to annoy you more frequently now. You're welcome. Um, I finally finished. I graduated. That was college me. This is new me, okay? If you wanna continue calling me Mandy, you know that's good too. Mandy can follow us into this new phase of our life. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering, Amanda, what in the world are you doing now? Like, what are you doing? And I don't really know yet. Um, this whole Rona stuff, um, she's really, you know, making life hard for all us college graduates, you know, as you might have assumed, because like people are getting laid off. You think they're gonna hire us new little peewees? No, no, they're not. That ain't how life works, sis. I actually am in the process and I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't, but then I've been thinking about it and I don't know how to keep my mouth shut and so I'm gonna tell you. Um, I am in the, pro I'm not gonna tell you what, but I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. I am in the process of something that I'm very excited about and something that I've wanted to do for basically my whole life. And I never had time before because like I didn't even have time to sit down and film a video. So like this, I had no time for. And so that is the thing that shall be unspoken. Why do I look yellow now? Like it doesn't look like this in person. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Do we need to like zoom in? Nope, still look yellow. I'm just gonna have you take my word for it that I don't look yellow in person. That like kind of helped, whatever I just did. I just zoomed it out, did I zoom it out further? I don't know. That's better. I look less extraterrestrial from there. But that'll change in 42 seconds because I'm gonna throw on lots of bronzer. I am gonna go in with some highlighter just because this is um, insanely dark on me right now. So we're just gonna highlight a little bit under 
the eyes and I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Plus. I'm reading it in a different language. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I was like, can I, did I forget how to read already? <laughs> like I just graduated. It literally, it's, this is like, I was reading right here and I was like, that is not my language. But I could read it up until that point, so I was like, what's happening? And I'm just gonna blend her out. This is like a really light color. This like matches like my, yep, see, yep. It matches my natural color, which is probably what I should've been putting all over my face, but Honey cannot accept the color that she was born with, so we have to just do this. Yes, there is an exciting thing that I am doing, and uh, again, I am not telling you yet because I just, I wanna drag it out for as long as possible. <laughs> so, keep an eye out, follow me on Instagram, and turn on my notifications because that is probably where things will be revealed first. That's what's up, sis, that's the tea. Besides that, I do nothing every day. Now I have time to annoy you all more with my videos now that I have nothing else to do. Moving on, we are gonna go in with this new powder and I am loving her. It is the Milk Makeup um, Translucent. Why am I saying words wrong? The Milk Makeup Translucent Medium Powder. She cute, she beautiful, she look like this. Except I really need to watch a tutorial on how to use this because here's the tea, sis. I took out, and now I'm getting powder all over me. Love it. Where did the towel go that was on my lap? So I took out this little, the little net thing to catch it because it, like I couldn't get powder out. But now I just have this open powder and it's terrifying to me. So if you use it, let me know what you do or just like, be like, Amanda, don't be dumb and just look up a tutorial, because I could do that too, but. I'm taking it on the little sponge that they gave me, and it kind of just sounded like I burped, but I didn't, and I promise, so like, just ignore that. And there's a little bit in the cap right now, so I'm just gonna place her on here. Hope you guys are doing well in quarantine, and I hope you're not going totally crazy, and I hope you're being safe. It's really, really scary out there. My mom is still like working and even though she um, works in like OBGYN and she's not necessarily being faced with COVID patients, um, she is because she had COVID and she has fully recovered and I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all of you guys that like sent your love and prayers because we were freaking out. Just please, be smart about things and I hate like talking like I'm your mom here but it's like it's so serious and it's really scary and I know that some states are like opening up and stuff but like the counts are still going up it's just like the economies are like can't survive with it being shot and so that's why they're opening please don't go out if you don't need to and wear your mask if you do and just be so 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 careful because this is so serious and people that are being forced to work still are stuck being with you. Okay, I'm throwing things. So, what I'm trying to say while I put my bronzer on, this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate. Can I, am I okay? This is like a little sample size. It's a little sample size because they had like 30 of them at TJ Maxx, so I bought all of them. So. And I'm just gonna go in, and I know, Morgan, I know you're watching this and you're like, Mandy, you're not listening to me. I still need to clean my brushes, and so my bronzer brush has blush all over it still, and my blush brush has bronzer all over it, and the, the powder brush has highlighter all over it, and so I promise that the next video, I'll use them right. <laughs> what I was trying to say before I started throwing things across the room, is if you don't take the necessary precautions, the people that are being forced to work are gonna have to be exposed to you eventually. And this thing is never gonna end. So just be responsible and it's just, it's so serious. So I know we're all cooped up and we hate this and we don't wanna be here anymore and we wanna go out and do the things that we're used to doing, but like it's just not the time for it yet. So take that with what you will. 
and be safe because I love you all so much and I don't want to see anything happen to you or your family or anyone, just literally anyone. And rant. I've been using all different brushes that I don't usually use because my brushes are dirty and so I have to make do with what I have. Um, next, I'm gonna, I didn't tell you what brushes I'm using because I'm the worst. This one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. Okay. And we're gonna go in with this cutie pie little tart bronzer in Park Ave Princess. And she look like, she look like this. She pretty or whatever. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzing. Or a lot of bit. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I do want to apologize in advance because um, I'm going to drag Evan to take five Jillian um, graduation pictures of me soon because I finally got my cap and gown in. And um, so you guys know when Evan goes on photo shoots with me or I go on photo shoots with Amy that um, usually you get all of them for like three weeks straight. So I just want to say I'm sorry in advance and I'm going to try really hard not to do that but I can't promise anything. I don't have self control. Plus. It's hard to get cute pictures in quarantine, especially when none of your family wants to help you and Evan's still working, but like from home. We do, hi Walter, where are you? Honey. That was cute. Okay, we're gonna do blush first because I don't know where the highlighter is. So, I'm gonna go in with the one, the only, Milani Bakes blush in the color five, Luminoso. Um, and we're just gonna go in with my bronzer brush. See, Morgan, I remembered, JH02. However, we're using it for blush today because she's still stained pink. Next time. And this I'm gonna use in the future for powder underneath my eyes, but not today. Today, she's being used for the highlighter. I'm going in to this Becca beautiful highlighter in Moonstone. She's so pretty. We're just going to be shining little babies. Evan and I are going on a picnic after this and I'm literally doing full glam and he's going to be like, we're sitting on the dirt ground. I'm like, yeah, but like we're glam for it. So before I do my brows and all that jazz, we're gonna go into eyeshadow. So I'm gonna pull you in and scare you real quick. I'm trying to look at this picture of my shadow and like remember what I did. I think it's just like a reddish look with like, oh, you can only see my mouth. I think it's just like a reddish look with some sparkle. So we're just gonna attempt to remake it with dirty brushes because that's all we have, remember. So we use an old trusty Zé Jacqueline Hill palette. And I'm gonna be staying in these like reddish tones in the upper half. Starting out with, we're gonna mix these, these three colors right here. These, I can't see what I'm doing. We're gonna mix them and we're gonna throw them in the crease. And again, I'm not even gonna recommend to use these brushes because I would not usually, so. Oh, she came out real dark real quick. Oh my. She said bold. We're going to, oh God, what am I gonna worse? This is like huge and this is, I believe my highlight brush and I should have used that, but we're just gonna blend her out because we'll just wash her again and it's the only clean brush I have. <laughs> this is why I don't do makeup, you guys, like on my channel, because like I'm not good. Like I don't know what I'm doing. And actually, you know, we're gonna bring this all down all over the eye because we're just gonna keep building the color. Um, the colors I'm using are MFEO, Silk Cream, and Pooter, in case you are curious. The eyes are gonna be sisters, not twins today as well because we're just having a rough time 
and it's not blending well because my brows need to be done desperately, but it's okay. I made a lot of mess, like a lot of mess, like she a big mess. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with a little bit of like an orangey, cause I'm just feeling it, okay? I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling it, just kidding. We're gonna go in with Hunts right here, followed by Roxanne, Roxanne. Oh, Hunts, she's a bit of pigmented, you could say. And I should be taking this on a smaller brush, but I'm not. I feel like everything in my life has changed yet I have nothing to tell you about. Wow, this looks way brighter on the camera. Oh, so basically, actually, here we go. Here's the thesis. Um, I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys. You guys know I'm complaining constantly, you know, during all my vlogs and... Okay, what is... Hello, can we blend or can we not? The answer is not, apparently. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work, but. She said just absolutely not today. Not today. She's not feeling it. She's like, I don't think so. Sorry. So, um, as I was saying, I got, I've been going to this doctor because for my entire life, everyone keeps looking at me and they're like, you're fine, and I'm like, do I look fine? No. I'm just a giant mess. I'm in constant pain all the time. TMI, but everything I eat, um, I die. Like, my stomach hurts so bad, and I'm never not in pain. I have chronic migraines. I have a laundry list of problems that just, like, um, a 22-year-old shouldn't have, and I've had them forever. So I was sick of people telling me that I was fine because like clearly I'm really not and I found a new doctor and he's amazing and I did, I don't know why this won't blend out and I'm like really not happy about it. Okay. And so he did um, a bunch of like a blood, like bunch of blood tests, a bunch of a lot of stuff. Um, a uh, food allergy test, like everything that should have happened uh, like 10, 15 years ago that never did because I was told that I was fine. And um, basically I'm allergic to every single thing that I've been putting into my body for 22 years. I'm legitimately allergic to all of my favorite things. Like I'm not even kidding, like my favorite fruits are oranges and raspberries. It's like basically all I eat. What am I allergic to? Oranges and raspberries. Um, what is, what am I known for? What What is my favorite thing in the entire world? Bread. I'm allergic to gluten. I'm not doing well. I'm allergic to beef. I'm allergic to, like I have a packet. Like, would you like to see this? Would you like to see this? I don't know where it is. I have a packet of all of my allergies, all of my deficiencies. I have an autoimmune disorder. I have a loose connective tissue disorder. I have scar tissue covering my back. Fun, right? So, um, all of this time, crazy, I know, um, I wasn't being dramatic. I was actually being under dramatic for the amount of things that are wrong with me. <laughs> so, um, now I'm going into Jack's right here and we're just going to, I don't know, kind of like throw her on the lid, the whatever. This isn't the exact same makeup look. Um, it's coming to be, so. I'm kind of just like in the outer corner, like crease-ish just kind of like deepen it up a little bit. So, yup, I'm basically a mess and I've had to completely switch my entire lifestyle around because everything I've been putting into my body has basically been poison. This is, this is gonna drive me 
up a wall. It doesn't even look that bad in person, but like on, no it does, just kidding. I'm just trying to, that is not a clean brush. It has sparkle all over it. Good, fantastic. My favorite. Okay, so yep, Um, basically everything in my life has changed. Um, since I've talked to you guys last, I graduated college. I'm allergic to legitimately everything that I love. Um, and it's not easy going through this change in quarantine. Let me just tell you because I can't go to the grocery store to try new things. And so we've been like getting, just ordering a bunch of stuff on like Instacart and like just like hoping that it's like edible. And let me tell you, a lot of gluten-free things are not edible. So, fun. So now I am going to go with, I put like a slight shimmer on the lid, but it's like a dark red shimmer. I think I'm gonna go in with a mix between Firework and Hilster. Firework and Hilster. Little red, little orange. We're gonna put her on this little flat brush and kind of just add a little shimmer to the lid. Little shimmer shimmer. Um, let's see, what else has changed? I have a bunch of videos planned out for you guys, so I'm really excited to get back on like a normal like uploading schedule. I'm not going to, I, I'm trying to stick to a schedule, but I think that every time I announce it, that's when I go off of it, which makes a total of no sense and I'm fully aware of that, but that's just kind of how it seems to work. So I'm just gonna like not say it and just like, um, like attempt. I'm gonna attempt to stick to a schedule, but I think it almost stresses me out more having a schedule, and so then I'm like overwhelmed and then I just like shut down and do nothing. So, that's what we don't want to happen. Um, I'm tapping into Hunts, Jax, and Roxanne. They're in a little triangle here, and I'm just putting them on like a smaller brush and dragging them underneath the lash line. It'll look better when I put lashes on. Why is this so far under my eye? So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm planning out videos, so um, if there are videos you guys want to see from me and you didn't request them on my Instagram story, definitely comment them down below and I will add them to the list. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I definitely recommend just because I'm so much more active on there on a regular basis like versus YouTube just because it's easier to you know like post a picture post a story like stuff like that you know makes sense so now that I look like the Mad Hatter we're moving on first we're gonna do the brows I think so I look scary a little bit longer so I'm going in with my NYX micro brow pencil in the color espresso. I did a brow tutorial on one of my recent videos with my eyelash tutorial to show you guys how I do it. So if you guys want to see this slowed down, go check that out. On camera, this looks so patchy. Like, oh my goodness. And what is on my cheek here? Hello? Who are you? I'm in a full blown sweat. AC, we're wondering. Just got so hot in my room. What is going on? Oh my god, I can't breathe. Okay, they're not looking that fab today, but like. Okay, so next, um, this is like a bold look, like I said, and I wore liner on top and bottom, which I have not done in a really long time, but I did in the picture, so we're gonna do it. Going in with the Alme eyeliner. It's like a crayon roll-up liner. This is the only liner I have found that does not get all over my contacts. Or give me the contact fog. If you wear contacts, you might know what I mean. Or maybe you're just hashtag blessed. I don't know. I'm like kind of bringing it all the way into the inner corner. I like the look of like that cat eye, you know, the cat eye look. But um, I can't seem to do it. My eyes are really sensitive and so I feel like they water and then they just get it all off and it's like, oh, like not cute. And now I'm gonna go in with my magnetic liner for my magnetic lashes. Um, this is the Glammedic. 
Glamnetic Liquid Magnetic Liner. Um, you guys have probably seen my annoying face pop up all over your news feeds everywhere because um, I am still fangirling and Glamnetic asked to use my footage from my video. Except I look super, oh wait, I forgot. I usually like to put on mascara before I do this because it helps guide me. So Glamnetic reached out to me and asked to use my footage from that video. Using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, I got this as a sample or like for my birthday from Sephora. I really, really, really like it. Um, so they were like, hey, like we would love to use your video like in our ads. Like, would you mind? I'm like, would I mind? I would be honored. What the heck? So that's like pretty crazy to see my face popping up literally on like... <laughs> A lot of people's news feeds. It's even funnier to see the people that think that I'm a paid actor and that I'm lying about the products when really I am um, just that obsessed and they didn't know who I was when I filmed it. <laughs> so, but I know that Glamnetic lashes can be very expensive and you guys know that I like to stay affordable and recommend affordable products for you guys. So, um, because I am so obsessed with magnetic lashes, I really would like to do a video trying out different kinds that are more affordable for you guys. So if you have some you would like to see um, tested, let me know like ASAP. I wanna try and get them all ordered so I can get the video up faster and you know, try them out. Plus, cause like I said, um, my lashes are disgusting. I need to order new ones. So I figured why not get a bunch of different like inexpensive ones and give them a shot just cause and then I can always order Glamnetic if I just still love them so much more. Cause I do love them but they are, I understand that they're pricey. What is going on with my eye? It feels like there's something stabbing me. Okay, so, no, not better, just kidding. Oh, there's just mascara all over my contact, so that's all. I'm kind of like piling on this um, mascara. It's not like clumpy by any means, so you can kind of like build it up really well. And um, this look is a bit dramatic, so I want the lashes to be dramatic too. Plus, the lashes I'm gonna put on are like huge, so I want them to match the bottom. Now I'm going in with the Glamnetic Liner. I like to put the mascara on first because I'm not good at liner and so it kind of helps me guide the way so my liner will never be perfect nor even but um we're gonna let her sit for a second dry a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and apply my glamnetic lush lashes i love these so much like i said i've had them for uh, quite some time so they're looking a little bit rough so maybe i'll try and clean them a little bit before i put it on I don't know why my lower lip looks so big. Oh, because I overlined it by accident. My lower lip still looks like gigantic compared to the top one. I'm not really sure why. We're gonna have to deal because that's just the way God made me. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, do my hair, get dressed to finish off the TikTok, but also so you guys can see the final look, okay? We'll be right back. Hey, we're back and better than ever. I feel like this time around, this lipstick doesn't match the eyes well. I don't know why it looks like purpley, because it's, I feel like not usually that purpley. But, this is the lip I used when I did it, and so I'm gonna keep it the same. So that is it for this look. I'm so sorry I kept you guys waiting for so, so, so long. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so happy to be back and I hope you guys are excited as well for more content. If you guys are not following me already on Instagram, be sure to head on over there, follow me at AmandaLouiseYT and turn on notifications so you don't miss some exciting news that should be coming at some point. And also if you're not subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. You can also join my Facebook page, Amanda's Lovely Little Fam, and join the amazing community of women that is on there. And you can also follow me on Twitter if you'd like. I just tweet random stuff when I'm in a weird mood and like, 
That's basically it. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so, so, so much for watching today's video. Until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.